pumpkin here and I'm so excited to start a new tradition um, of doing some life skills learning through videos. And so um, the first video that we're going to do is cooking because when I thought about what I wanted to do, I thought about how much I missed cooking with you guys on Fridays. And when we had left, we were talking about healthy eating and making sure we had veggies and fruits and um, grains and meat and dairy all on our plate, right? And we talked about how we wanted to eat that every day. And we made some pretty awesome things. We made some not so healthy things like cinnamon rolls because they were good, but we also made smoothies and we did all kinds of fun things. So I thought I would start off by making a nice healthy breakfast. And so what you're gonna need today is we're gonna make scrambled eggs, toast, and a side of fruit. So um, you can grab your toast. Um, I have my toaster over here. Um, you're also going to need a bowl, a fork, your measuring spoons, and you'll want to use the teaspoon, and then milk, your eggs, which I have in here, two eggs, and then a fruit of your choice. So right now I have an orange, strawberries, blueberries, and I also have some bananas over there. So I have lots of choices for fruit, but you pick one that you really enjoy to eat. So first and foremost, we are going to wash our hands because that's very important right now, but very important altogether in cooking. So I'm gonna take you over here so that you can see me wash my hands. So you're gonna wanna get some soap and turn it on some hot water. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my hands and I'm just gonna scrub really good. And remember we talked about right before we left school that you can sing happy birthday um, or maybe one of your favorite songs a couple of times just to make sure that you're really getting good before you start cooking. and we are ready to cook some eggs. I have my bowl with my two eggs, my fork, my teaspoon, and the milk right here with me. So I'm gonna crack the first egg. Now the way I do it is I kind of hold it like this and I crack it on the side of the bowl like this and then I pull it open. Just like that. Alrighty, and we'll throw this one away. And then we have our second one. So again, get a little bit closer, but you tap really good on the side of the bowl and then let go. All right, so I have some sticky stuff on my fingers from the eggs. So you wanna make sure that you wash your hands because you've got egg on your hands. So we'll go back to the sink and wash our hands. All right guys, so I just finished washing my hands and I'm ready to start my scrambled eggs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my milk and the way I do it is for each egg, I do a teaspoon of milk. So because I put two eggs in the bowl, I'm gonna need two teaspoons. So I'm gonna need two of these. So we're gonna count, because see, I told you, you use math everywhere. So you're gonna pour one teaspoon and two teaspoons. And you've got all the milk that you need. So I'm gonna stick this in the sink. And now all you need is your bowl and a fork. And what you're gonna do is you're going to kind of spin it in a circle. So let's see if you can see, I'm gonna push it like this. Okay, so you're gonna kind of spin it in a circle like this. And this way, you get all of your egg and milk mixed up. So you're gonna do that for probably like 30 seconds. Get it nice and good, nice and mixed 
together with the fork. And you kind of want it to look like a lighter yellow than the yolk because you added milk, which is white. So it's going to be a little bit lighter. Alrighty guys, so we're here at the stove and I have a pan that looks like this. And I am going to turn it on to about in between the two and the four. And I'm gonna let it get warm for a few seconds. And then you are going to pour the egg into the pan, just like this. Now, you're gonna need, I usually use a spatula of some sort to mix my eggs. I've got some pretty good looking scrambled eggs here, so I just kind of start flipping it around. So not as many figure eights anymore. And I kind of munch it. And now I've finished my good looking eggs. Hi guys. So now that you've finished your eggs, you can make yourself a slice of toast. So I have my handy dandy toaster right here. And I'm going to grab some bread. Now I use whole grain bread, but whatever you have works. And I'm going to stick a piece of bread into the toaster, just like this. And I'm going to press down for it to start. I like to set mine right in the middle of two and three, because I don't like it to burn very much, but you set it to whatever you want. Now, while it's cooking, be careful not to touch this area because it's really hot. Alrighty, so my toast is finished. So you can use some sort of tongs to get your bread out so that you're not touching the hot surface and you're not touching the really hot piece of bread. All right guys, so you finished your eggs. So you wanna pick it up by the handle and make sure you don't touch the pan because it's really hot and you're just gonna scoop up your eggs and put them onto your plate. These look really yummy. I don't know if you can hear my dog's paws, but she's over here because she smells something good. And then you wanna put the hot pan and the spatula in the sink. And I chose banana for my fruit for today. So I'm gonna have a banana with my eggs and toast. Alrighty, so I have my toast, eggs, and fruit here on my plate. And you can really do anything you wanna do with your toast. So you can put some butter on it. You can put peanut butter and stick your banana on there. That's really good. You can put jelly or you can just eat it plain. You can put your eggs on top, whatever you'd like to make it your breakfast. But we have now finished our healthy breakfast, and I am just gonna add a cup of orange juice to my meal because that way we have some whole grains, fruit, vitamin C, and we have some protein with our eggs. So this is a pretty great breakfast to start your day and eating healthy. I'm so glad you guys are able to join me today in my very first cooking video with you guys. Um, I really, really enjoyed cooking alongside you, and you should send me pictures of breakfasts that you've made, or if you made our breakfast here today, you can send me a picture of that too. Oh, look, my dog wants to smell what's cooking. <laughs> Bye, guys.